Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the council. This is part four of my playthrough of episode one, The Mad Ones. If you find yourself enjoying, go ahead and click the like button, leave me some love in the comments, and I will warn you, I will not have read any comments from any of the playthroughs so far because I'm addicted and I keep playing. This is all from the same first night of me getting into this game, guys. I'm hooked. Like, I had a feeling I would be. The mystery has fully engrossed me, and I cannot wait to continue playing through it and figuring it out with you at my side. Right now, at this stage in the journey, we have recently uncovered a message from our mom. There is a link for the playlist at the beginning, at uh, the top of the description. If, you, if you're just tuning in somewhere in the middle, dive back in there. Go back to the beginning of the story and figure out what is going on. There's way too much to explain at this point. Right now, we have been invited to the Red Salon by Sir Gregory. And, um, and there, hopefully, we will continue to solve the mystery of what happened to our mama. If I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Okay. Well, we have been invited to the Red Salon on the first floor. Now, I did want to have a look around. If there is a secret passage betwixt our rooms, it would be between my room and, uh, pardon me, and the room of this cardinal. Why don't we see? Okay, well, that is not one of them. It says, if I get the chance, maybe there are some rooms we can enter and some we can't right now. Um, and I know for sure that we do level up by discovering little items that we we find throughout the hall, coins, and some of the, the potential upgrade things like the royal jelly, the devil's thorn, etc. I think we should do a quick tour around the halls before we head downstairs and see if any, uh, any secrets uh, or any items are hiding here. And maybe... Maybe we'll be, we will be able to enter the room of one of the guests. Uh, so far, we entered Mr. Peru's room and left almost immediately. We know he's a big dude, and I did see a dude wandering the hallway. I know that. This is President Washington's room, and it is one we can enter. Worth it? Ah! Let no one disturb me. I'm busy. Too bad. I'll see him later. We have not done well with George. Um, he, he does not like us. I'll tell you that. Uh, wait, did I just get turned around? No, this way, right? Uh, this is the Hall of Chairs. The hallway where the most chairs ever exist. Nowhere else on the planet Earth are there this many chairs in a single hallway. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. This would be worth checking out. Now, George, one of the reasons he was mad at us is we were supposed to provide cover for him so he could search this room. Maybe we could get back in his good books by having a little look around ourselves? It seems as though all the guests, for the most part, are going for to be God in the For God's sakes, room. what happened in here? Oh, wow. Okay, so is that a pentagram on the ceiling? It certainly seems that way. Look at that freaked up mess. This place is crazy. We need to have a look around, guys. We need to see what the heck is here. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better. And unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to go. Okay, guys, so that's John Adams, vice president to George Washington. Um, that's why George wanted in this room. He believes Elizabeth to be dead. If you missed or you haven't been able to keep up with all the details, I know there's a lot of characters, so I'll do my best to refresh your memory as we go. Um, I skipped that. It just said, basically, I'm not coming to see you. Don't be mad at your mom. Your brothers and I are busy. I think one of John Adams' sons became a president or a vice president later on down the road, right? A chest with a half-circle pattern. Unlock using my subterfuge skill. It's only one point, so it's probably worth it. Although we could have found a key here, I'm sure. Okay, well this is good for us, guys. More items. More uh, royal jelly, which basically we have a plus one of... An untutored hand copied these points. notes. Looks yeah. like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. Uh, analyze notes. I don't have these skills. Science or occultism. 
Um, so all it says is take. So maybe once we've discovered that, those skills, once we've leveled those up, uh, we will be able to, 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 to further explore that. If you have a look inventory here, um, we have Mortimer's Invitation, a page from the Bourgainville book, Piaget's letter, Mother's handkerchief, interesting, Emily's handkerchief, and then there was notes by Duraché. Okay, look at the look at the levels up you could get if we discover all of those. Very valuable. All right, and we need to continue looking around this room. I don't think we'll be interrupted, so let let's take our time and have a look. Devil's thorn. Okay, we now have five of those guys. You can only carry five of each, which means honey. I couldn't have hoped for better. Which means we need to use one. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Consume? Guys, you only live once, right? Well, let's see what it tastes like. Ugh. I really need to stop tasting everything I <laughs> find now. That is a good idea. Exhausted. Okay, you just encountered an immunity. Use a golden elixir to cure yourself. Oh, good. Uh, don't consume the crystals. Yeah, that would have been wise to not do. The golden elixir is... Uh, this one? Cures negative alterations. Probably let's just go ahead and take that. That was stupid. Why do you consume the crystals? I guess YOLO. Okay, another pentagram. Uh... A little royal jelly, maybe? A coin? Carmelite water will give me a little reprieve. Okay, good. The Carmelite water, uh, that one means next skill use... Oh, no. This one? Uh, displays immunities, vulnerability... Okay. Carmelite water restores A novel points. of the initiation of a young woman into a polite society. Discovered an immunity. Psychology. So Elizabeth cannot be a victim of psychology. She's only been here for four days. It seems obvious that she is a fricked up mess. Uh, so uh, Lord Mortimer thanked um, thanked Gregory for bringing her here. We know that, and he also so that door's locked, and Gregory offered to look after her for him. We know that as well. Okay. Okay, a five circles shaped key. 30 November, 1791. My dear sister, the cancellation of our reunion hit me like a stab to the heart. Father told me it was for your well-being, but I can't help but blame him. He claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. If only I knew where you were, believe me, I'd be at your side. I haven't received any news from you in a long time. Please write. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. I hope you like the enclosed talisman. Wow, you pronounce that word weird. Talisman. Um, that we just read. November. Okay, perfect. Another letter here. August 24th, 1792. Elizabeth, I'm driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you. But they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day to be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with Father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. Could that be my mom? A woman who spoke with Father and speaks French, I suppose. I mean, it's of any of the female characters we've met in the story so far, it's got it, she'd be the most likely Juno choice. Lies. 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer matter to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you. Your treatment? But that they will soon subside. 
Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again. All right, guys. So a lot of these letters, the ones that seem to be the most meaningful are from her sister. Um, we did find one from her father saying, sorry, we can't get together. And the dates are all very spread out, uh, almost extremely spread out. Some from over a year ago. Um, and I think we may have found all the clues in this room. Um, the balcony is off limits to us. I think I looked here, right? Right, yes, I did. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Don't eat them again, you idiot. All right, guys, so this room, as far as I can tell, has been searched. I think we have been through it. It certainly looks that way. And the one thing I can tell for sure is how messed up this woman is. Been here for four days, and this is the state of her room. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that symbol on the wall. Was that something I could look at? Let's do a quick check over here. Look at that symbol. That is in the, uh, that is in the, the sort of, uh, press kit materials for the game. Um, one of the images I put up at the beginning of, uh, part one of the playthrough. Uh, you can definitely see that image on the wall. And there's some other ones here. Really interesting pictograms. I guess they're all over the walls. Maybe she's been here longer than four days. It feels that way, doesn't it? Either way, guys, let's continue. Let's see if there's another room we can look in. All right, guys, so we were working this direction around the hallway. I think we will have gone by many of the rooms by the time we get to the main stairwell. Ooh, what have we got here? Another collector coin item. So this stuff may seem trivial and it may not seem like the most important part of the game, guys, but the, the bonus items that we find as we move through here are very valuable. I've been using the honey to great effect and in fact i'm quite low on it so now i need to make a point of using the devil's thorn uh before we find a sixth one of those and it goes to waste uh, so i believe we should oh okay so we're not supposed to go this way so it must be another staircase that takes us down to the main floor uh, which means we have another opportunity to look at some of these rooms all right this one uh, which belongs to johan von volner off limits to us. Ooh, and I don't really remember this area. Have we been through here? Okay, that's the upstairs staircase. I think this will still be off limits. Okay, and I imagine this is our way down. Right, it is. Let's just do a quick check and we'll see if either of the other rooms, Napoleon or whoever, in this white hallway is accessible to us. So, this is the room of Jacques Peru. Not accessible. We were in here earlier and I didn't do a proper search job because I was so worried about the time. That must be the Ooh. door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. Uh, yes it is. What do you mean? Like, I don't know that? Okay, so Napoleon's room is one we can look inside. I think we should take the opportunity, guys. Um, if it's anything like Jacques Peru's room, we may only have the one chance to get in there. And if we don't take it and we don't look properly around... Okay. Napoleon Bonaparte. Like we didn't know who he was. Let's dive in here and see what there is to see. Oh, subterfuge level two. Okay. Uh, nope. Okay. So this vulnerabilities thing we need to make a point of using. I have one of the jelly. I'm gonna... Ah... Uh... Okay, let's use one of these, and let's unlock the door. While we have the opportunity, let's search around and let's see what's here. I'm still looking for the room that I saw my mother shoot Emily in. I don't think we found it yet. This is not the statue I was talking about when I mentioned a horse statue. Um, it was small. Item not picked up. Okay, so we have full Devil's Thorn, the which Prince means... by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm. That might come in handy. Okay. So we have discovered his immunity is politics. That makes some sense. And we'll have to remember to, to check these things out. Okay. Search. Okay, Kinda guys. Like that's my water. last skill point. You say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. All right, so the benefit there is the next skill use is free with that Carmelite water. So we spent one point to gain a potential free skill use. 
which we used to get in here. The, in the Battle first of place. Alexander at Issus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet the another Persians. one with delusions of grandeur. Hannibal crossing the Alps, another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room, and he gets victory after victory? This is a very fitting room for Napoleon. You've got uh, Alexander, Hannibal. Very, very fitting. I'm sure we're going to find, I don't know who else makes sense here, Julius Caesar, probably. Vercingetorix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by ha! Rager, two great of army chiefs. Of course, Vercingetorix, leader of the Gauls, I guess at this that point in history. Okay, so another golden elixir. I could use more of that royal jelly, I tell you what. My Let's dear read through Napoleon, here. As previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord so, William Mortimer. So it seems to me, just like Mortimer uh, put Washington uh, in, at the head of, of, of America, he intends to put Napoleon here at the head of France. The only worrying thing is he said a new order in France. I assume he just means... Can I read that book? No. I assume he just means a new uh, government, but if he means the Golden Order, then that would mean replacing my mother uh, with Napoleon being the new head of the order. I don't think that's what it means, but you really never know. All right. What is this? Augustus? French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. There you go. Close. I'm on I'm onto it, guys. I'm figuring things out. Amber, congratulations. That is your fourth one, your maximum effort points increase, Amber which means Christus. we now have eight. That is wonderful. Yeah, Napoleon's room, very different from ours from an artistic point of view. All right, we can't go on the balcony. Uh, once again. A pound. All right, guys, I think we have discovered all the clues in old Napoleon's room. Oh, one more here. Oh, no, that's the painting. Okay. Uh, I really do enjoy this. It's I like that it's testing my knowledge of history and things like that. Ooh. Okay, we have not discovered a it's saber. a beautiful weapon. A lovely damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Okay, discovered another immunity. He has multiple immunities. Why is there only one of the three dots there? Interesting. My dearest son. I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powerly continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother. Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Napoleon, people think of as French, um, born in Corsica, if memory serves, and he held a lot of grudges against uh, French aristocracy and whatever for the way Corsica was treated when he was young, I think. A bicorn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. <laughs> Thanks, Louis. Your detective skills are so helpful. You bastard. This is a French soldier's hat. Thank you. I know which room we're in, doofus. Okay, more boots. These look like the boots we saw in the other room. So maybe the other room belongs to another French soldier. Peru. That's Peru's room. All right, guys. I think we have been through and seen all the clues. Ooh. Oh. Oh, we can't pick this up. This is Devil's Thorn. Okay, so... Devil's Thorn displays immunities, vulnerabilities. I have no idea how that works, but we may not get back in here. So let's just do this. Okay, so that's only two minutes that that works. So I say what we do is we hustle and we see if we can take advantage of this before it's too late. Might be Hello, servant. Take a different stairway. 
Okay, there was one back here. I got two minutes to use this. If not, then we're exactly where we were before and we haven't wasted anything. I don't think there will be more rooms to explore. Um, if I'm missing out on them. If I could be checking out Emily's room, so be it. Whatever. We'll worry about that in the future. I don't think Emily's going anywhere, guys. Yes! Excuse Give me the opportunity me, to use Monsieur this skill. Richet, I really need to talk to you. Hello. You're Elizabeth Adams, aren't you? Yes. I regret that we haven't been properly introduced. Uh, bring up the malaise in the salon. I don't know what that means. Ask about her eye. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your eye? I oh, she was had sick. a bad fall. Looks more like a punch to me. My eye's nothing. Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Uh... My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing, so I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. What do you mean? Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No. 28 seconds. Hurry stare, up. Cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. Wow. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She's getting more and more agitated. Reveal the vulnerability. Four, three, two. Hurry Look, up. I've, I've got to go. Wait. I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? Okay. Okay. Next skill use is free. Let's just do that. And... Elizabeth. Confiding in me might ease Whoops. your burden. Idiot, Let me that's her you of some of your immunity. Suffering. Relieve me? Do you even hear yourself? Do you really think that by confiding in my torturer's son, I will be healed as if by magic? That it will bring my smile back or let me sleep at night? Look, you don't seem like a bad person. And I'm sorry you have to find out your mother's true colors like this. But I'm not going to pity you. Everybody has their cross to bear. Okay, guys, last chance. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Mention her mother, her father, her sister. Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. Good thing I we did that searching. I would put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. Thank God, guys. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, Mama. my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to... separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. 
until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's come here for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Who? Who's that dude? There, and Mortimer. And, uh... Okay, okay, okay. The Red Salon. Okay, guys, that was really interesting. By searching her room, we knew about her sister. But I didn't stop in the middle of that to go here and take a look at Elizabeth Adams to remind myself that she was immune to psychology. I attempted a psychology skill check because it seemed like it made sense and ran into that, which means I'm now exhausted and I need a golden elixir to... Re to undo that, I am really starting to plow through some of these these uh, power-ups, whatever you're going to call them. Um, let's take a second. We know that we're going to be running into Mortimer. Conviction. Don't do that. Uh, we know that we're going to be running into... That guy might be Godoy... Uh, Peru. Where's Peru? Well, maybe, maybe that's Godoy. Either way, etiquette... Uh, Sir Home, we don't know anything about Napoleon. Conviction and politics would be bad things to follow up with. And Emily, vulnerable to psychology, immune to logic. Some of these are skills we have. Um, and we're going to get some points to spend soon, I would imagine. All right, guys. Let's just continue with the adventure and see what the heck happens. In the middle of all of this, I can just do this. I can pull it up and we can double check so that we don't make that stupid mistake again. Um, George, was he with him? We don't know anything about the old fella. All right. So let's have a little look around. You never know. We may find some little bit of elixir or honey or some other thing around here. Which one was the golden elixir? Right here. I think I'd just take it. Uh, cure up that exhaustion. And I have... One, let's just get our skill points there. Um, and if there is some negative to taking too many of these, we haven't run into it yet. So, okay. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything Another... in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I'm... I've seen brush strokes like this. Another version of that really creepy baby-eating painting. Uh, this is the same uh, St. Peter, St. Paul? Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down, out of humility. Surprising right, so for an entrance hall. We've been around here, right? This is the same room we were in earlier. Okay, let's use an opportunity. We know that these guys are vulnerable to conviction, which is a skill that comes What can I do for you, sir? Strongly to me. I am at your service day and night, sir. Okay, let's see. Am I telling him to take his leave? As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Ah. Well, Carmelite water is one we're low on. I would love the honey. He doesn't have that. A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. Okay. I don't think we're getting anywhere with this fool unless we're willing to spend a whole lot of points on this nonsense. Um, displays immunity. No, no. You know what? Let's, let's get out of here. All right, guys, I didn't realize this guy is basically just a signpost. We're not getting anything useful out of him. Let's get the heck out of here before he blathers more. Uh, can you tell me about our host? No, this guy's not going to help me. Let's see you later, idiot. All right, and I think... Ooh, look at that. That's a maze. I think it also happens to be the logo for the game, The Council, which is pretty cool. And we've had a look around here. There were a couple of items 
that were here the last time we were here that we didn't get the opportunity to look at. Well, sitting down is not that important to me. <laughs> I think there was something over here as well. I, rem I remember seeing a couple of items when we came through here last time. Uh, to talk to Washington. Oh, okay, a little golden elixir. Excellent. Alright, so these are the benefits of doing the searching, guys. These coins, all of this means more XP, which means more levels, which means unlocking more skills. And all of that is going to reduce effort points, which is the whole point of this. I only have these two effort points right now to spend. Alright, let's see if we can find our way to the Red Salon and, uh... It's not something that guy mentioned, but let's see if we can find our way there. I think we've searched everything there is to see. I don't... Will it let us go outside? Most likely not. Nope. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see if it is through here. I imagine it is. Yes. All right, into the Red Salon. There is a new person there, guys. Someone we don't know. I think it's the man I saw in the hallway with the tricorn hat. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? <laughs> okay, uh, let's take a look at this guy right now. Huh. Peru looks totally out of place here. He's counting the ten sets of cutlery around each plate? The man is completely lost. And right he was. Thank you again okay. for the wine, Your Eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London mm. is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, validate bread. Let's go here. Ah, uh, crap! Too slow. Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. <laughs> okay. Okay. Qu quick, right here. It's the first time I've ever oh, seen dear. her so moved. Mm. <laughs> Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. <laughs> yeah, she's 
sweat. Is everything all right? All right, so we have now discovered Emily's a new vulnerability to psychology. I think we knew that already. So that was just discovering more of the same, potentially? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. <laughs> All right, guys, this Volner guy looks like, if I didn't know better, he looks like he could be the same guy that we think was Mortimer talking to uh, everyone else. What do you think of Volner? If you had helped me last night, I might have been willing to answer you. But that was not the case. Okay. Clearly, George is not happy with us. It would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? And you, sir. This is a stunning room, guys. This is crazy. Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. Pretend you know nothing. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. A well, confrontation course. begins. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50. We need to do a quick check to make sure we don't stumble over, trip over our own tongue here, guys. Uh, we have an opportunity to meet with him. Immune to conviction and immune to politics, just because I won't have a, a, a lot of time. Let's take a quick look and remind ourselves what the symbols are. Conviction is speech bubble with the exclamation mark, and politics, obviously, is that little parliament building looking thing. Okay, so these two are bad. Don't attempt to use them. Um, we do have, uh, let me see here, inventory. We do have uh, golden elixir, carmelite water, devil's thorn. I think we should take a devil's thorn. I think that would be wise. Reveals potential vulnerabilities. So let's go ahead. For 200 okay, vulnerability is not the right time. I don't have the skill points to do that, but I could do this. Let's do it. I've go here. only just taken over the affair. The agreement will be considered null and void until we've gone through it together. Is that clear? All right. You seem to know what you're doing. Okay, I good have job. one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Now, my knowledge of him... Okay, let's avoid that. Bad. France needs a leader. That would take all my points. Uh, it would need a counter-revolution. Okay, let's Let try this. Let people make their own choices. You are joking, I hope. The people are simply not capable of taking charge, don't you see? They Bad are choice. They are an uneducated mob who react on the spur of the moment, incapable of providing a coherent vision for the good of the country. <laughs> Bummer. France needs a strong leader. I know his motives. Let's try that. I think that. what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern her. Someone who will restore her luster, who will propel her forward so once again she becomes a proud nation respected by all. A man capable of both rebuilding the country from the inside and, at the same time, developing exterior relations. Someone with a vision, I think. The right person still remains to be found. You're right, my friend. I hear your words, and I agree. Monsieur de Richer, I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer oh. was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Monsieur Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture, and please know that I, too, I'm delighted to have met you. 
All right, guys, we're doing well. Um, I could have spent. I would like to say. A Let's few wait. Words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. He does not think of me as his friend. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Butterflies everywhere. Everywhere butterflies. Is that what I'm looking at? Missed opportunity? Right. We shall meet what? again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. Indeed. Emily could keep me amused, I tell you what. Okay, guys, so successes. I found my mother's message hidden in the book. I got access to the whole message. I managed to persuade Elizabeth Adams to talk to me about her mother. I met the guests during dinner. I proved to Napoleon to be my mother's worthy successor. I searched Elizabeth Adams' room. I searched Napoleon's room. Once again, I did zero failures, so I'm killing it. And no alternate paths. So whatever we did right... Episode 1, Chapter 3, Wines and Cannons. We're killing it, guys. Um, I think this is going to be a good time to end the episode, but if memory serves, we'll have some skill points to apply here. Oh, baby, leveling up like a boss. All right, so you guys can see the benefit of items found, uh, character traits revealed, uh, and objectives completed was a significant one this time around. Uh, we have eight points to spend. Guys, I think what I will do is uh, distribute those at the beginning of the next part of the playthrough. And from this screen, I will end today's chunk of the video. I will continue bringing these to you on a daily basis until I complete episode one of The Order, The Council. What I call it? The Order. Either way, guys, I am having a blast, and I literally can't stop playing. I have a feeling I'm going to play through the entire game in a single sitting, so keep leaving me comments, but know that I will not be able to make different choices and things as we go. I really hope you're enjoying. I am really hooked in by this mystery, and I'm enjoying the game more than I even thought I would, and I thought I would like it a lot. If you have not been watching since the beginning, click the playlist that's popping up on your screen right now to enjoy the entire adventure. By the time you're seeing this video, who knows how many episodes there could be, and I could be into the later episodes of this story. You can also click on my face to subscribe, and if you truly appreciate this content, check out the Patreon page. Join for a buck a month, and you will do so much more than watching the ads that are popping up in these videos. I give you permission to block them as a patron. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm UTC, and I will see you in the next part of our playthrough of the Council.